Well, a final story for us tonight. Uh, the Eastern Regional Director of the Ministry of Food and Agriculture, Henry Quintel, says industrialization in agriculture can be fully realized when children and teenagers are taught the essence of value addition. Speaking at the Blue Sky School Farm of the Year Awards, Mr. Quintel said industrialization is the future of agri, hence the need to inculcate it in the future generation at a younger age to ensure success. Blue Skies organized an award scheme to reward students, teachers and schools who partook in the farming competition. Eastern Regional Director of the Ministry of Food and Agriculture, Henry Krenzel, lauded the initiative but called for value addition to the product going forward. I'm looking forward to this competition moving more into the, uh, the post-production phase, you know, like adding value and all that. And, and I think that is the way to go. Um, quite recently, my department organized um, a fair, the Commodity Satellite Market Fair, where small-scale processors and farmers added value to their product. And, and I was so surprised with the, with the quality of packaging. So I'm looking forward to seeing the students package their products, you know, good quality products and good quality um, packaging and, pro and branding, you know. And I believe that when, when we go in that direction, for me, I, see, I will see it as a seed for agricultural industrialization. Advisory member of the Board of Blue Skies, Dr. Abena Asmenin Entry, indicated that the competition started as a way to meet demand. However, it has grown from increasing supply to teachers who want to impact food experience to students. For some time, we're struggling to get produce from our farmers in the quantities that we need. We thought about, well, the farmers we are interacting with seem to be aging. And so what other great plan could we have than to try and sort of catch them young, the farmers catch them young, give them the implements to experiment at this level and then see how consistently they will be able to um, get what we need from them. And so we started this six years ago. It's not been, it started small. Each year, the, the applicants, the applications were getting more and more. Um, and it was not necessarily for the fact that schools will win. But I think teachers got the opportunity for students to practicalize the theory that they were teaching in classrooms. 60 schools from both junior high and senior high participated in the Blue Skies competition. Here is Jennifer Quate, a student from St. Michael's Anglican Basic and best female farmer. This project has impact, um, how impacted me how to um, plant. In fact, I, I even did um, a small garden in my house and it has promoted, it has helped me how to grow and it has let me know how agriculture is good and how to promote it. So we wish them, we want them to um, continue doing it so that we could learn more. For the senior high school category, Xavier SHS was first runner-up whilst Pepon SHS was second runner-up. Meanwhile, St. Fidelis Senior High School won the overall prize. My name is Ali Pizekio, the Agri Prefect of St. Fidelis. When they were giving the awards, we couldn't hear our name, so we are a little bit frustrated by what we learned. We, went, we hear our name in the ultimate winner, and we are really proud of Blue Skies for giving us this opportunity to exhibit our talent in agriculture.